We're heading downstream on the Roy S. Kelly as we uh, head back to the Port of New Orleans. We're here on because it's, it's Maritime Month and today is Maritime Day. And today we're talking with uh, the Chief of Staff at the Port Authority, uh, Sarah Porteous. First of all, what does the Chief of Staff do at the Port Authority? Oh, well, I uh, am in charge of working with the executive team and make sure that we're all, you know, working in synchronicity. And I also oversee marketing and communications, human resources, IT and procurement. So it's a big job. One of the things you're working on right now, uh, it's been a bit of controversy, but the the benefits, according to you all, way outweigh any controversy with that proposed new port down in St. Bernard Parish. Yeah, it's a really exciting time for the Port of New Orleans and for the state of Louisiana. You know, container terminals are hubs in the global supply chain. It's how we get goods, we move goods from around the world and get them on shelves for consumers. So we are very excited about the new terminal that we'll be building down in St. Bernard Parish. Well, and, and New Orleans used to be one, one of the very top ports in the country. We've gone down the list a bit. This is one thing that you guys think will help bring this city back, bring the whole area back as far as importance of ports. Absolutely. I mean, this is a real opportunity to be the premier gateway in the Gulf. Uh, this terminal is going to allow us to be able to receive larger vessels. The container business is obviously booming. Vessels are getting larger. And we have some restrictions with the Crescent City Connection. So building this terminal 17 miles downriver is really going to position us well. And, you know, we're just looking at the uh, the uh, Napoleon Street Wharf, the Napoleon Avenue Wharf, and, and you guys added some new cranes there because you got to keep up with the business. Absolutely. But to get those bigger ships in that can't go onto the Mississippi River Bridge, you've got to have something downriver. We have to have something downriver, and that's why this new terminal will be 17 miles downriver. We're about two-thirds away through the permitting process, and we're very excited to be starting construction next year. And when I was talking to your uh, acting uh, uh, CEO, he said, you guys think you'll be breaking ground next year on that? Yeah, we do. Like I said, we're about two-thirds of the way through the permitting process with the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, we're going through all of the studies that we need to do, environmental studies, so we can evaluate all the impacts and make sure that we're, we're mitigating those. And, and where's the funding coming from? So we're very excited. Earlier this year, we announced landmark funding, $300 million uh, from the Biden administration. We're very thankful for that. Uh, we actually got $226 million as part of the Infra Grant program, which is the largest uh, grant ever given for a new container terminal in U.S. DOT history. All right, so we'll wait and see how that goes. You, you know it will uh, increase the size of the port and increase jobs and things like that. All right, Sarah, thank you very much. Thank you. And let's get back to you guys in the studio.